What do you mean gravity is only, is vibrations only as of recently? I just meant the gravitational waves. Not I said it's not possible. Fair enough. The problem in quantizing gravity is not whether it's baby or not, but in the variables you choose. Because quantum mechanics actually presumes that space and time exist, or at least at the minimum, that space and the time exist. And uh, the formalism is geared. That they're in there, right? or That there is evolution in time. The problem with gravity is that and that there is a unique choice of time. In gravity, there is no unique choice of time. Oh. So quantum has a reference frame that it's already using, essentially? I wouldn't say that it has a reference frame. There is a variable or parameter <coughs> that plays a natural role of time, meaning a parameter that you can use to kind of distinguish before and after. In gravity, there is a problem because there is no unique choice of time. You cannot choose time in a unique way. The problem of quantization of gravity is not that you can't quantize it, cool. but that when you compute quantum corrections, uh, you end up sort of generating new and new interactions all the time, which you have to account for, and so there is no end to it. Normally, theory which is quantizable. So, in other words, gravity is just some effective theory. There, is, there has to be some more basic theory that lies beyond 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 it. So, it's an it's like a, in electrodynamics. Basically, once you start quantizing, you find new terms, and then you discover that. No matter what you do, once you have discovered what these new terms that you don't have classically, uh, are all that you need, that suffice. They suffice to describe quantum mechanics, quantum mechanical behavior, electrodynamics completely. In gravity, you don't have that function. Uh, it's not a count infinite kind of thing. So there's just there's just too many variables that come out recursively. Something like that. Okay. Before we go back to uh do you have any questions by the way? No. Okay, before we go to um, further study of our two-dimensional systems, I wanna do something which involves slightly more familiar things. And I want to consider a system in which you have angular momentum. Which is an object which in classical physics has this form. And uh, if I write components, I can write it. Using Einstein's notation for summation where a repeated index is summed over. So this really stands for, for example, L1 is M01. Okay, this is totally anti-symmetric, so you know you know about this epsilon tensor. 
equal to plus 1 if all three are different and, and uh, yeah cyclic but and it's minus 1 For example, epsilon 1, 2, 3, we take to be plus 1. Epsilon 2, 1, 3 is minus 1. And any permutations of 1, 2, 3 will give you the plus or minus 1. So for example, n epsilon 2, 3, 1 is plus 1. So that's a this is a cyclic permutation of these, right? This is not unless. This is unless because you have been burning. So all of this will be also epsilon one, three, two, and so on. And anything where any two are the same. So for example, one, one, two is zero. Obviously, one, one, one is zero because we have several pairs. So for example, if I want to write L1, which is Lx, this will be epsilon one. sum over j is from 1 to 3, sum k is from 1 to 3, epsilon 1, j, k, and j, p, k. And so now, if you look at, when j is 1, this is 0, right? So I can have j2, epsilon 1, 2, k, I still have sum over k. So x2, p, k. Then another possibility I can have is sum over k is 1 to 3, epsilon 1, 3 k, x 3, p k. So these are the only two possibilities that I have. So for 1, only 2 and 3 can be non-zero values, right, for j. So now if I look at 1, 2, the only possibility for k is 3. So this gives me x2, p, gives me epsilon 1, 2, 3, x2, p, 3. And here, the only possibility for k is 2. So I have plus epsilon 1, 3, 2, x3, p, 2. Now this is 1. 1, 3, 2, if I flip, which is minus epsilon 1, 2, 3, right? I just put these two. And so this is minus 1, x3, p2, where you should recognize y, p, c, minus c, y. That's an extra quantity. It's just a pretty concise way of writing things. What, where did the x sub j come from? Was it? Is that, why, why does the, in the formula on the top, yeah. that's epsilon sub ijk, is that crop? No. It's a, it is a totally anti-symmetric tensor. That's not cross, that's, that's x. x. Okay. X. Well, I don't know. I don't know where, where the x. Oh, x is a component, r r vector. It has components which are x one, x two, x three, which is x y and z. Okay. And p vector has components which are p one, p two, p three, which are also the same as p x, p y, p z. It's just a label. I 
could write x, y, and z for the one instead of one, two, three, but it's just easy. You never seen this tensor? You haven't seen the cross product on the tensor form. <laughs> J, I can have them epsilon 2, 3K, X3, PK, plus epsilon 2, 1K, X1, PK, right? And so this will be epsilon 2, 3, 1, X3, P1, plus epsilon 2, 1, 3, X1, P3. So 2, 3, 1 is the same as epsilon 1, 2, 3, x3, p1. And then here, if I flip 1 and 2, I get minus epsilon 1, 2, 3, x1, p3. So this is 1, this is 1, so this is z, p, x, minus x, p, z. Is that what you were telling me? This is Z, P, X minus X, P, Z. Okay. Now, when I wrote it in this form, I have a whole bunch of commutators, one, two, one, two, four of them to compute. So instead of doing it like this, let me actually write this like slightly like this, and I will do pieces. So I have Z, P, X minus X, P, Z. So in general, if I split it up, if you look at every one of those pieces, I have commutator of the form where I have a component of L with some x, j, p, k, right? That is the form that I have. I always have one x, one x, comp one comp coordinate component, one momentum component commuted with L. So, I never remember this rule, A, B, C, what is that? So, A, B, C is A, B, C minus B, C, A. So we are going to add and subtract a piece. So we are going to add A, C, B and subtract A, C. And if I combine this piece with this piece, I will have A, B, C, and these two pieces, if I combine them, did I do that right? It's B, A, C, I think you add and subtract. B, C, A. B, 
these two combine fine, but these two I don't combine fine. That's what always happens to me. So A, B, C, B, C, A, and then I add. Isn't ABC minus BCA just, mm -hmm. isn't ABC minus BCA zero because BCA is the same as ABC? No, they're no. not, because no. then they commute. Oh, they it's commute. the, all oh, right. I you was thinking add, of that epsilon division. You want to add and subtract the same with BAC? Yeah, yeah. 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 the matching versions. So if I do this, then these two combine into A, B, C and these two combine to be A C. So that's the formula I need. So if I look at what I have here, L I X J P K. And there is another reason for doing it like this, because you will see that L has interesting properties with respect to X and B. So this will be L I X J. K plus X J L I So to do that, I need to find the common pair of L I X J, and I need to find the common pair of L I. So for example, if I do LX with X, what do we get? What do you think? Can you guess ahead of time what, what, what we will get if we do this? Okay, let's try. LX is Y, P, Z, minus P, P, Y, X. What is the result of this combination? Zero. Yeah. Because y and x will commute because their coordinates p z is a derivative with respect to z. This is x, so this will give you zero. So this is automatically zero. Now, lx with x with y. This will be y p z minus z p y y. This one is simple. The first term will have y commuting with y and pz, so that will give you zero. So it will be minus z py y. But z is a constant with respect to this commutator, right? So this is minus z py y m y. And these two will give you ih by, right? Uh, negative ih negative i h bar with this minus sign is plus. So this is i h bar z. So we have our first two results. Lx x is 0. Lx y is i h bar z. And what do you think is Lx z? You see a pattern? i h bar h y? Negative yeah. I X, Y, Z, X, Z, Y. So it's a negative one. So you can check it. And so this will become I. 